Okay, na dapat. Let's discuss the five transporting points, Ying Spring points, allied to second space. Location on the radial aspect of the index finger, distal to the metacarpophalangeal joint at the junction of the shaft and the basis of the proximal phalanx. How to find with the hand relax, palpate the border between the red to white skin along the shaft of the second proximal phalangeal bone towards the meta, metacarpophalangeal joint until the angle between the base and the shaft of the bone can be clearly felt. Light 2 is located at the junction of the shaft and the base and slightly below palmar 2, the most external curvature of the bone. SI2 is located in similar position at the proximal phalanx of the little finger. Needling point 2 to point 5 tune publicly in a proximal direction or distal in a slightly palmar direction. Actions, indications, clear heat, spells wind. Special features, yin spring point, water point, sedation point, distal point for the mouth and heat. As a spring point, this point clears heat in the large intestine and is used in cases of interior heat with symptoms of constipation, dry stools, fever, and abdominal pain. It also expels wind heat in acute invasion of exterior wind. It clears heat in the large intestine and it expels wind heat in acute invasion of exterior wind. According to the classic of difficulties, yin spring points are indicated for heat in, in the body, Li2, the yin spring point of the large intestine channel, clears heat and expels wind from the upper uh, reaches of the channel in the teeth, nose, face, throat, and eyes. It is useful to view the large intestine channel in relationship both to the lung channel with which it is interiorly, exteriorly coupled and to the stomach channel with which it is paired according to six-channel theory, Yang Mi. The large intestine channel may be seen as the exterior reflection of the lungs and its distal points, such as Li2, are used to expel wind heat from the exterior portion of the lungs, especially the throat and nose being indicated for sore throat, rhinitis, and nosebleed accompanied by fever and shivering. As far as the stomach is concerned, accumulated heat in the stomach and large intestine may be transmitted along the hand yang min channel and give rise to inflammation of the throat dry mouth, and to take um, various classical sources had emphasized the use of Li2 for to take rather than the more commonly used Li4, which may be seen as a reflection of the dynamic and urgent quality of the more distal point. Although the large intestine channel does not reach the eye, its coupled young mean stomach channel originates the eye and this explains the ability of Li2 to treat eye diseases. The indications for Li2 include propensity to fight and somnolence. It also appears in combination for toothache with lumbar pain and with several points of the kidney channel for somnolence. These indications hint at kidney disharmony, and it may be that as the water point of the large intestine metal channel. Li2 was considered effective in the treatment of efficacy deficiency pattern of the kidneys. Finally, the large intestine muscles and divergent channel both connect with the spine and Li2 is indicated for pain and stiffness of the shoulder and back. Thank you for your attention. Let's uh, talk about Heart 7, Spirit Gate, Shenman a shoestring point. Heart 7 is located on the ventral aspect of the wrist joint space, the most distal wrist crease, radial to the insertion of the tendon of the flexor carpi ulnaris muscle. How to find heart 7? Position the forearm in a relaxed supinated position. 
As the location of the wrist crease can vary, the proximal border of the pisiform bone should be used for reference instead. Heart 7 is located radial to the insertion of the tendon of the flexor carpi ulnaris muscle in a depression proximal to the pisiform bone. Heart 6, Heart 5, and Heart 4 are all located on a line on the radial aspect of the tendon at 0.5 soon intervals. Also located on the wrist crease are pericardium 7 between the tendons of the palmaris longus and the flexor carpi radialis muscles and lung 9 on the radial aspect lateral to the radial artery. Needling of heart 7, 0.3 to 0.5 soon vertically or transversely deep to the tendon, parallel to the wrist crease, 0.5 to 0.8 soon. Caution, ulnar artery or nerve. It is a painful point. Actions, indications. Regulates and strengthens the heart, blood, and yin. Calms the shen. Clears heat from the heart channel. Moves qi locally for disorders of the wrist. Special features. Heart 7 is a yuan source point, shoestring point, earth point, sedation point, and a major point for calming the shen. Heart 7 is the shoestring and yuan source point of the heart channel. The spiritual pivot in chapter 6 recommends the use of shoestring points in treatment of disorders of the sun, while in chapter 1 it says, when the five zang are diseased, select from the 12 yuan source points. Heart 7 is an essential point to treat all disorders of the spirit and all deficiency disorders of heart sap. Heart 7 is the foremost acupuncture point to calm and regulate the spirit. According to the spiritual pivot, the heart is the residence of the spirit. Disturbance of the spirit may be broadly divided into two main categories. Deficiency patterns of heart, blood, or yin, and excess patterns, heart fire, phlegm, or phlegm fire. When heart, blood, or yin are deficient, they are no longer able to nourish the heart and provide the material basis for the heart to store and anchor the spirit. As a consequence, the spirit loses its harmony and becomes restless and unquiet, resulting in anxiety and fearfulness, poor memory, restless zang disorder, insomnia, and disturbed sleep. If heart qi is deficient, especially when accompanied by qi deficiency of the gallbladder, a person will be easily frightened and apprehensive. According to the spiritual pivot, when heart qi is deficient, there is sadness. When excess, there is ceaseless laughter. If the heart loses contact with its associated emotion, joy, a person will be prone to ceaseless and inappropriate laughter. When heart fire rages out of control, it agitates and excites the spirit, leading to severe insomnia and mental hyperactivity. When phlegm or phlegm fire obstruct the portals of the heart, the spirit will be disturbed to varying degrees, ranging from mild manifestations such as insomnia, talking during sleep, disorientation, agitation, and restlessness to the more severe symptoms of dementia, mania, mad laughter, insulting behavior, and epilepsy. Whatever the pattern, Heart 7 may be used to help restore peace and harmony to the spirit. The heart is unique in being susceptible to the four principal kinds of deficiency, qi, blood, yin, and yang. Heart 7, the shoe stream and yuan source point of the heart channel, may be used in any of these situations, especially in cases of deficiency of blood and yin. In practice, the tonifying action of heart 7 is enhanced and focused through its combination with other suitable points. Palpitations are a common symptom of heart disorder. Although fundamentally a disorder of heart qi, which is the active moving aspect of the heart zan, palpitations may accompany virtually any heart pattern, whether deficient or excess, through its action of regulating and tonifying qi of the heart, heart 7 is indicated for all kinds of palpitations, 
including fright palpitations and pounding of the heart. The heart channel ascends to the throat and heart seven is able to clear heat from the channel, giving rise to swelling, congestion, dryness, and pain of the throat. The heart channel is interiorly, exteriorly coupled with the small intestine channel, which is paired with the bladder channel, the tayang, according to six channel theory. This linkage has traditionally been used to explain the relationship between heart disharmony and urinary disorders. And in the case of heart seven, its ability uh, to treat aneurysis due to accumulation of heat in the bladder. Thank you for your attention. Let's discuss extra points, jingle, palace of essence, and watu diaji, uh, paravertebral points. Jingle Palace of Essence, location on the back, 0.5 June, lateral to the point, bladder 52. Action, nourishes the kidney essence. So here is the illustration of the jingle besides the bladder 23 and also illustration of bladder 26. Indications for infertility Comments, jingle is used to tonify the kidney and specifically the kidney essence, nourishes the kidney essence for infertility. Extra point B2, Uutus para vertebral point, location 17 points pair, 0.5 June lateral to the lower border of the spinous processes close to the spinal facet joints. 12 thoracic joint pairs between T1 and T12, 5 lumbar points pair between L, I1, uh, lumbar 1, and lumbar 5, depending on the school of thought corresponding point lateral to the cervical spine, are described as additional Watu Giyaji. How to find select points of EXB2 depending on the disorder? Determine the relevant spinous process and locate the point pairs, 0.5 tune lateral to its lower border. Needling, 0.5 to 1 tune vertically or better oblique in a medial direction towards the spine, up to 1.5 tune in the lumbar region. The purpose of needling this point is to stimulate the local nerve roots. This means that the insertion angle has to be adapted to the patient's anatomy. Never needle in a lateral direction. Once DK is obtained, do not further stimulate the needle. It is possible to apply electrostimulation. Action indication, regulate and harmonize the five sung and six poo organs, depending on the point selected. Special features with disorder of the facet joints of the cervical spine. There are often tender points, 0.5 tune lateral to the lower borders of the spinous processes. In China, these are needled for chronic disorders of the cervical spine. If oblique insertion, approximately 45 degrees in a medial direction, are used for points on the inner branch of the bladder channel the tip of the needle will reach the area of the Uwatu Giyaji points. This enhances the therapeutic effect. Uwatu Giyaji back filling points. Location, a group of points on both sides of the spine, 0.5 tune from the midline in correspondence with the intervertebral spaces from the first thoracic to the fifth lumbar vertebra. So here is the illustration from T1 to L5. Actions regulates the internal organs, benefits the back and spine. Indications for diseases of the relevant organs, back ache. Comments, these points are named after the famous doctor, Watu, who lived during the Han Dynasty. It is thought that he used these points as back transporting points. The action of these points is similar to that of the corresponding back transporting points. However, they are not often used in this way as the back transporting points 
would be more effective. They are, however, frequently used as a local points for backache and are particularly useful to correct deviations of vertebrae. It regulates the internal organs in, uh, for diseases of the relevant organs. It benefits the back and spine for in backache. It points from the first to the fourth thoracic vertebrae treat disorders of the lungs and upper limb. Points from the fourth to the seventh thoracic vertebra treat disorders of the heart. The points from the seventh to the tenth thoracic vertebra treat disorders of the liver and gallbladder. Points from the 10th to the 12th thoracic vertebra treat disorders of the spleen and stomach. The points from the 1st to the 2nd lumbar vertebra treat disorders of the kidneys. The points from the 3rd to the 5th lumbar vertebra treat disorders of the bladder, large and small intestine, uterus, and lower limbs. The points from the 1st to the 7th cervical vertebra treat local disorders of the neck. All the Huatu Giaji points treat herpes zoster at the level of the affected segmental nerve. All the, the Huatu Jiaji points treat pain and stiffness of the local area. The Huatu Jiaji points were first mentioned in Song to Keep Up Your Sleep. Their dis uh, discovery is attributed to the great Han Dynasty physician Huatu who was said to use them in preference to the back shoe points. Thank you for your attention. Let's now discuss the Jing River points. Lung 8, channel gutter. Lung 8 is located lateral to the radial artery, one soon proximal to the ventral wrist joint space, the most distal wrist crease. How to find lung 8? As the location of the wrist crease varies, Use the joint space between the proximal row of carpals and the radius ulna for orientation. By loosely moving the hand, the joint space is easily palpable. This is the level for palpating the radial pulse, using the fingertips, not the finger pads. Lung 9 is located on the radial side of the artery, while lung 8 is located one soon proximal to lung 9. LI5 is located close to lung 8, but on the dorsal aspect of the wrist joint in the anatomical snuff box. Needling, 0.3 to 0.5 soon proximally or vertically. Avoid the radial artery by gently pushing it to the side when palpating for the point. Moxibustion is contraindicated according to some classics. Actions, indications. Lung 8 descends the lung chi, alleviates cough and wheezing, Opens to pores and expels wind in particular. Opens the channel, especially locally. Special features of lung eight. Gin river point, metal point, bend point. Five phases. Lung eight is effective in treating problems of the throat and lungs and such symptoms as cough and asthma, fitting into the category of river point indications according to chapter 68 of the classic of difficulties. It is often added to other points to treat chronic throat problems. According to the classic of difficulties, Gene River points are indicated for cough and dyspnea, chills and fever. Lung eight, the Gene River point of the lung channel, is primarily indicated for excess type cough, dyspnea and wheezing with fullness and pain of the chest and upper back and for febrile disease with absence of sweating. An unusual indication for lung 8 found in the classic of supplementing life with acupuncture and moxibustion is pain in the region of kidney 1. Pain in the soul is usually due either to deficiency of kidneys or to phlegm and dampness pouring downwards. It should be emphasized, however, that in modern clinical practice, lung 8 is infrequently used. Lung 8 can be combined with GB40 for tension of the chest and back with a swollen sensation of the chest. It can also be combined with spleen 2 for febrile disease with absence of sweating. The role of the receiver of chi is to inspire the heavenly chi that invigorates and infuses body, mind, and spirit with both spirit and chi. To benefit fully from this, our chi needs to be clear and fresh and not stagnant or too hot or too dry. Otherwise, less than clear chi 
is infused into our entire system. This can lead to agitation, anxiety, that there will not be enough harvest to get us through the winter, or a refusal to contemplate anything new because we are jaded with detritus. Nothing fresh can reach or rejuvenate our outlook, so life continually falls short of our ideals and disappoints us. As a metal point on the lung meridian, meridian gutter, lung 8, carries the essence of the lung and metal element. The cleansing quality of this point protects the receiver of chi from contamination and allows calm inspiration and wise judgment to prevail. Meridian gutter clears away stagnation, purifies the body, mind, and spirit of poisons, and invigorates and enlivens the receiver of chi. Good for negativity at the level of the mind and spirit when the punishing aspect of metal prevails over its protective canopy role. Reinvigorating metal's responsibility for the automated rhythmic processes of life and for descending the chi can help clear a body blocked by constipation, mucus, or skin that is lifeless and in poor condition. Flowing gutter acts to sluice clear the gutters of the body, mind, and spirit from accumulated debris, sometimes clearing it from inside to the surface so that the toxins become visible on the skin before clearing completely. Meridian gutter engenders a fresh outlook on life, renewed vitality and enthusiasm. For the fullest response to this point, use at orary time in autumn. It is frequently used in the autumn, the season associated with metal for many patients where cleansing is an issue. Jing River points are where the chi of the meridian is wider and deeper. Chi is flowing like a strong current at these points. The Suwen says the chi and blood at River Jing points move and do not dwell. At these points, exterior pathogenic factors are diverted towards joints, bones, and tendons. Thus, Nanjing indicates Jing River points for cough and hot and cold sensations. Hence, Jing River points are often used for upper respiratory disharmonies and pain in the sinews and bones. Lung 8 tonifies and regulates the lung chi. As a meridian gutter, lung 8 clears and carries away garbage and poisons. It can clear stagnation and negativity from the body, mind, particularly where there is cynicism present or a feeling that there is no quality or value in life. As the metal point, it shakes up and cleanses the official, especially when used in the autumn. Consider using lung eight when ex heat or extreme cold are out of proportion on the body surface, especially the hands, palms hot, dry, or wet. Beneficial for many lung and throat disorders, sudden cardiac pain, intermittent fever, excessive mucus, or wrist pain. Thank you for your attention. We go to the stomach channel, Lu connecting vessel system, Su Yang Ming Lu Mai. The stomach Lu connecting vessel system, the connecting channel starts at stomach 40 and connects with the spleen channel. Another branch runs along the entire border of the tibia up to the thigh and abdomen to the top of the head where it converges with other young channels. A branch separates from the neck and goes forward to the throat. Pathway, the stomach loop connecting vessel separates from the stomach primary channel at its loop connecting point stomach 40. It forms a three-dimensional dim reticular network dividing into multiple branches and sub-branches within the surrounding tissue. Horizontal divisions run to the interiorly, exteriorly paired primary spleen channel. According to some schools of thought, for example, Vani, Van they travel as a transverse stomach loop connecting vessel to the Yuan point spleen tree. The longitudinal division ascend along the anterolateral aspect of the leg to the torso and reaches the lateral aspect of the neck at stomach 12, where it divides into two branches. One branch traverses the neck 
the other branch runs to the occiput and ascends the head to reach do 20. Clinical importance, pathology, counterflow chi, swelling and pain of the throat, sudden loss of voice, sensation of tightness in the throat, excess chi, a psychological disorder, also epilepsy and mania. Deficiency, chu, we syndrome of the legs, atrophy syndrome with muscle weakness and paralysis. The great glue connecting vessel of the stomach pathways. The great stomach glue connecting vessel begins at the stomach, passes through the diaphragm, intersects with REN17, and spreads in the lungs, trachea, and larynx. From the lung, it travels to the heart and emerges on the left aspect of the thorax near stomach 18, which is located near the heart beat, where the heartbeat is visible. Clinical importance, pathology, excess, she for dyspnea. Deficiency, she chest tightness, for example, with asthma, capping, angina pectoris, etc. The function of the stomach too are to control the rotting and ripening of food, to control descending and to act as the first stage in the digestion of fluids. Disharmony of the stomach therefore manifests as disorders of appetite and digestion. Distension and pain in the epigastrium due to failure of the stomach cheek to descend, or belching, nausea, and vomiting due to rebellious ascent of stomach cheek. Okay. Many points of the stomach channel, both local and abdominal points, and the more distal points are used to treat such disorders. According to the spiritual pivot, Yang Ming channel is abundant in chi and blood. Points of foot yang mean channel are therefore much used clinically to regulate chi and blood in the lower limb and to treat atrophy disorder and painful obstruction, hemiplegia, and pain of all kinds. In the Chinese tradition, the sage faces south and thus the light and warmth of the sun fall on the front of the body. The yang mean channels on the anterior of the limbs receives the full intensity of the sun as does the abdominal and chest portion of the foot, yang means stomach channel. The only yang channel to run along the anterior of the body. For this reason, yang mean or yang brightness is considered to be particularly full of yang chi. Points of the stomach channel, therefore, are among the most important points to clear excess of yang in the form of five wind heat or heat which rises to disturb the heart, and spirit. Apart from the above, the primary action and indication of the points, the stomach channel can be summarized as treating all disorders of the yang channel in the head, including the eyes, face, and cheeks, forehead, nose, lips, gums, and teeth. Treating disorders of the ear, treating disorders in the throat, regulating the function of the intestines. Treating disorders of the upper, middle, lower jaw, especially the lung, heart, chest, epigastrium, stomach, spleen, uterus, and bladder. Tonifying chi, blood, yin, and yang. Treating both acute and chronic disorders of the breast. Treating disturbance of the spirit, especially mania depression. So here we have the stomach blue connecting connect channel where it originates on the lateral side of the lower leg at stomach 40. Travels to the medial aspect of the lower leg to join with the spleen. Spleen channel. Ascends to the deep of the neck where it converges with other yang channels. Then travel internally to terminate at the throat. Thank you for your attention. Let us talk about the cervical spine for location methods and tune measurements. The spinous processes of the vertebrae are in most cases good markers for anatomical orientation. The correct positioning of the patient is important in order to facilitate palpation of the spinous processes and the intervertebral spaces. For palpation, the practitioner places his index and middle finger to the left and right of a previously identified vertebra gliding smoothly with both fingers from one 
intervertebral space to the next. Palpating the depressions between the vertebrae allows for orientation along the spine, even in heavy or obese patients whose spinous processes might not be palpable. Note regarding the inner branch of the bladder channel. In clinical practice, the points on the inner branch of the bladder channel are not on all sections of the spine, measured at a 1.5 soon distance from the midline. Rather, they are located on the highest point of the paraspinal musculature so that the distance to the midline tends to be greater at the level of the lower thoracic and the upper lumbar spine. Note regarding position of the patient. The position of the patient can significantly influence the level of the vertebrae in relation to other anatomical structures, such as the scapula or the pelvis. Now let's talk about the cervical spine. For orientation on the cervical spine, the patient should best be seated or standing. The head should be in a neutral position. Spinous process of the second cervical vertebra. The first cervical vertebra, the atlas, has no spinous process, so that when palpating down the posterior midline from the occiput, the second cervical vertebra, the axis, has the first palpable spinous process. Do15 is located slightly superior to this. The spinous processes of C3, C4, and C5 are often only indistinct or not at all palpable, while C6 can, on the other hand, be clearly felt for identification of C6 and C7. So here you could we could see the location of uh, Do15 or how we could would be able to palpate uh, the first spinous process, which is the axis or uh, second cervical vertebra, the first palpable spinous process. Vertebra prominence, spinous process of C7. Two fingers, for example, the index and middle finger, are placed on the spinous processes assumed to belong to C6 and C7. The patient is then asked to flex and extend his head. With a fully functional spine, the spinous process of C6 will start to slide anteriorly with the slightest extension, while the process of C7 will remain fixed. With further extension, the process of C6 will disappear completely, while the one of C7 remains palpable. If the practitioner can feel movement under his upper finger, the fingers are placed on the spinous process of C6 and C7. If, however, the process under the upper finger remains palpable even with stronger extension, the fingers are most likely resting on T1 and C7. Correct identification of C6 is important, since C7 is not always the vertebra prominence. In many cases, the spinous process of T1 is equally or even more prominent than that of C7. Do14 is located below the spinous process of C7. Thank you for your attention. Let's discuss window of heaven points. SI 16 heavenly window. Location, approximately 3.52 lateral to the anterior midline at the level of the laryngeal prominence on the posterior border of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. How to find? From the laryngeal prominence, draw a line to the posterior border of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Then SI16 is located directly at the posterior border which can be made more clearly visible and palpable by rotating the patient's head in the opposite direction. Located on the same level are stomach line from the ear border of the sternocleidomastoid muscle and LI18 between the two heads of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Needling vertically 0.5 to 1 chin. If necessary, rotate the patient's head back to its normal position before needle insertion. Action indication, it expels wind and heat, benefits the throat, ears, and voice, opens the channel. Special features, window of heaven point. 
SI-16 is one of the window of heaven points. As such, it subdues rebellious chi from the head. It regulates the ascending and descending of chi to and from the head, and it calms the mind. This point has an important mental effect related partly to its being a small interesting point and partic partly to its being a window of heaven point. In psyche, equivalent of the small intestine physical action of separating clear from turbid fluid is the capac capacity to discriminate between issues with clarity. As we have seen, SI5 has this particular effect of stimulating the capacity to discriminate between issues. SI16 has the same effect, but in an even stronger way due to its nature as window of heaven point. Therefore, this point, when the person is used, when the person is confused about life's issues, unable to distinguish the right path and depressed. Summary, it's abuse, subdues rebellious chi, feeling of heat in the face, chi, chi pain, extinguishes internal wind, loss of voice from wind stroke, clenched teeth, headache, Harms the mind in manic behavior, a manic depression, talking with ghosts. It benefits the ears in deafness, tinnitus, ear pain. Facilitates the mind's capacity of discriminating between issues. SA 16 is one of the 10 points listed then in chapter 2 of the spiritual people that have come to be known as window of heaven points. As a group, these 10 points have the option of regulating rebellious and chaotic inversion G. SI-16 illustrates many of the characteristics actions of these points in its ability to treat goiter and throat disorders, treat headache and heat and swelling of the face and cheek, treat disorders of the sense organ, in this case, the ears, treat sudden onset of disorders, in this case, loss of voice. In addition, like two other points from this group, number 10, lung 3. SI-16 treats disorder characterized in the classical text as seeing or communicating with ghosts and therefore attributed to some form of demonic possession. In terms of modern medicine, these indications refer to various forms of severe mental disorder, including schizophrenia. Sun Shimiao, the famous 7th century physician, particularly emphasized the use of maxibustion 50 ohms. At this point, for loss of speech and hemiplegia. Heavily refers to the location of SI-16 in the upper or heavenly part of the body. Swang may be construed as the point's ability to move chi in the same way as a window moves air. This is the first of two windows of the sky points in this meridian which emphasizes the importance to the role of the small intestine. As a window of the sky, it can calm the spirit and bring a new perspective when the person has lost vision, purpose, feels murky and clouded. The small intestine has to help process and separate information for the mind and spirit as well as the level of the body. When out of balance or depleted, the person can become depressed or agitated feel overwhelmed, confined, and pressured by sorting the enormous amount of information that assaults the sense, senses in life. Toxicity can litter the skin with voice, model the mind, and tarnish the spirit's joy of living. Heavenly window can breathe relief, give a sense of spaciousness, and time refresh and reinvigorate the small intestine's role in discriminating what is pr primary and essential from what is negligible. Benefits the sense or it possess. Windows of the sky points reveal black, the chi flow between head and body, regulates the values chi and invigorate the sense for that. This point can help with tinnitus, deafness, and pain in the ear. Can be used for chi blockage, disorders such as throat, B, 
goiter and swelling, shoulder and neck pain and swelling of the cheeks. Headache, sensation of heat in the face and sudden loss of voice. An imbalanced small intestine can also show as heart fire, poison, or sluggishness affecting the region with acne and voice. Heavy head, nervous tension, insomnia, poor concentration, skin eruption, mental disorder. This point invigorates the meridian, clear skin, eases pain, and restores the pure environment and conducive to the proper functioning of the heart. It also helps the shoulder pain, stiff neck, and neck pain. Thank you for your attention. So let's now discuss influenza A, first of three parts. Influenza is a viral infection of the upper respiratory tract. Influenza may be caused by the influenza viruses A, B, or C. The influenza epidemic that we will discuss is the A type, H3N2 strain. The spectrum of clinical manifestations caused by this influenza virus infection ranges from non-febrile, mild upper respiratory tract illness to severe or fatal pneumonia. Most cases appear to have uncomplicated, typical influenza-like illness and recover spontaneously. The most commonly reported symptoms include fever or feeling feverish, chills, cough, sore throat, runny or stuffy nose, muscle or body aches, headaches, fatigue, vomiting and diarrhea, mostly in children. Infection from the influenza virus takes place through the upper respiratory tract and may occur in any season, but more frequent in winter or spring. From the Chinese point of view, they usually manifest with symptoms of wind heat. Pneumonia, bronchitis, sinus and ear infections are examples of complications from flu. The flu can make chronic health problems worse. For example, people with asthma may experience asthma attacks while they have the flu, and people with chronic congestive heart failure may have worsening of this condition triggered by the flu. To treat influenza with Chinese medicine, we must master the theory of the four levels from the Wen Ping School. An invasion of exterior pathogenic factor is due to temporary and relative imbalance between it and the body's chi. This imbalance may occur either because the body's chi is temporarily and relatively weak or because the pathogenic factor is very strong. The body's chi may be temporarily and relatively weak due to overwork, excessive sexual activity, irregular diet, and emotional stress, or a combination of these. When the body is thus weakened, even a mild pathogenic factor may cause an external invasion of wind. Simultaneous chills and fever are the most characteristic symptoms of the beginning stages of wind invasion. They indicate that there is an invasion of an exterior pathogenic factor and that this factor is still at the exterior level. As long as there are shivers, the pathogenic factor is on the exterior. Aversion to cold. In exterior patterns, the aversion to cold and cold feeling is due to the fact that the external wind obstructs the space between skin and muscles where the Wei Qi circulates. As Wei Qi warms the muscles, its obstruction by wind causes the patient to feel cold and shiver, even if the pathogenic factor is wind heat. Thus, Wei Qi is not necessarily weak, but only obstructed in the space between skin and muscles. Thus, in exterior patterns, both wind cold and wind heat cause a cold feeling and shivering. It is a common misconception that this is not the case with wind heat. Since the cold feeling is caused by obstruction of the Wei Qi by wind, whether wind cold or wind heat, in the space between skin and muscles, the cold feeling and shivering is present also in invasions of wind heat, albeit to a lesser degree than in wind cold. Thus, generally speaking, there are three aspects to the cold feeling in invasions of exterior wind. The patient feels cold, he or she has waves of shivers, and he or she is reluctant to go out and wants to stay indoors. Except in mild cases, the cold feeling is not relieved by covering oneself. 
In conclusion, a feeling of cold in exterior invasions is a subjective feeling of the patient and is due to obstruction of Wei Qi in the space between skin and muscles, and it indicates that the pathogenic factor is on the exterior. As soon as the feeling of cold goes, the pathogenic factor is in the interior. Thank you so much for listening.